Hello everyone and welcome back to Walcott Fine Art. So today I'm going to talk about a process known as oiling out. Now uh, oftentimes if you're an oil painter you'll notice that oil paint has a tendency sometimes to do what's called sinking in which means that uh, there's certain colors, certain pigments, and certain areas of the canvas or your painting that uh, after it dries will become very sort of matte um, and almost sometimes even get a chalky appearance to the surface, uh, but they just become very dull and the color doesn't look like it's it did when it was wet. And then you'll get some areas uh, that are real glossy. Uh, maybe the canvas wasn't as, you know, as absorbent in that area or something like that. Um, and this is just an old study I had done here that, you know, I didn't, wasn't that happy with the way it turned out. So this is make a good demo. Uh, and you can see in this one, there's some areas where it's real glossy, where I used more medium in the background. And then there's some areas in here that, um, like especially in this area of the bottle, that's gone really matte. The surface is matte and sunken in. And let's say this was a finished painting. And if you just varnish that, you know, after it's dried for a couple months and you have those uneven areas, then the varnish isn't really going to cover that up. Then you're just going to get, instead of glossy and areas and matte areas, then you're going to have glossy areas and super glossy areas. So oiling out is a good way to even out the surface before you put the final varnish on. And it's also good for restoring the uh, look of the wet color in case you want to go back in and keep working on the painting and you are trying to match color and stuff. So, uh, and oiling out can be done as soon as the painting is touch dry. You don't have to wait a long time the way you do with varnishing. So uh, the important thing is though, when you oil out um, the mixture that you oil out with, don't put any varnish in that mixture. Make sure uh, it's typically just a mixture of oil or some kind of um, like uh, liquid or galkit or something like that uh, and a solvent. So you could oil out with a regular linseed oil and just mix that with an equal part of uh, like say Gamsol or terpenoid or something like that. Uh, the problem is with that, with linseed oil, it won't hurt the painting, but it does take a long time to dry. So then you'd have to wait a long time. Um, if you didn't want to work wet and wet, you'd have to wait for that to dry. Um, so the best way to go is either to buy a pre-made medium that's you good for oiling out like this. Uh, this is Winsor Newton. It, you know, is fast drying. Or um, make your own with, uh, like I said, like a medium like Galkid, which is an Alkid medium, so it dries quickly. Uh, you could also use Liquin, which is made by Winsor Newton. Um, and so you just take uh, equal parts of this and then an equal part of uh, thinner like terpenoid or Gamsol and you just mix those two together. Uh, so to demonstrate today, I'm going to use the Winsor Newton just because it's ready to go and I've got it on hand. Um, so basically what you're going to do is after your painting is touch dry, you want to make sure that you use a very soft cotton cloth like this. Don't use paper towels or anything that's going to make lint because then that'll get in. Um, just use this very soft cotton cloth and then you're going to pour some of the medium out into the cloth and then just very gently in circles rub this into the surface of the painting. And what that will do is it will feed the, the surfaces and areas of that painting where there's not as much oil and even out the sheen. Um, and you can, you know, do this several times if you need to. Um, but that's basically how you do it. And you just go very gently over the whole surface um, and, and work that in. You don't want a real thick, wet layer. You just want enough to rub into the surface so that the those sunken in areas um, absorb that extra oil. Um, 
you know, and as you can see, this is evening out the sheen. It's bringing some of those colors back and making them look a little richer. Um, so then you would just do that over the whole surface of the painting until it's even, you know, evenly coated. Uh, and then let it sit for a while. And if you need to apply another um, application, you can do that. Uh, and after doing that several times, I can already see a big difference in the sheen. You see how much more even that is? Uh, when I hold it up to the light, it doesn't have those sunken in areas. And like I said, it brings the color back. So that's a good way of keeping your painting um, sort of wet looking and the colors true. Uh, if you if you want to keep working on it you know, in between stages without having to use um, like any kind of varnish or like retouch varnish or anything like that. Because if you do that, then you're going to be creating um, instability you know, in between the layers, um, you know, unless you let it dry for a really long time, you know, uh, then once it cures, it would be okay. But then you, like I said, you'd have to keep waiting for those layers to dry for several months before you went back and uh, painted on top of them again. So anyway, so that is the process uh, of oiling out. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's a good process to use. Like I said, if you want to keep working on a painting and you need to bring those colors back and even out the surface. Uh, so I hope that you found this video helpful and educational. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!